Hello everybody and welcome to the Equid Knowledge Hub. My name is Joris Alkomade and in this video I will show you some basic principles of how to debug your SAP application. In this video I will discuss the following three topics. First thing is how to activate the SAP debugger from any given transaction code. Second topic is the basic screens of the ABAP debugger. And the last topic I will discuss is how to navigate through your source code using the ABAP debugger. Before we go into the system, I will explain something about debugging itself. So for instance, what is debugging? So I checked it out on Wikipedia and it gives the following description, which defines it pretty well. So debugging is the process of finding and resolving defects and or problems within a computer program that prevents correct operation of computer software or a system. Debugging can be very useful to find out what is causing the issue in your SAP transaction and it gives you insight in the transaction itself. The ABAP debugger can be used by either a developer, a functional consultant, or even an end user. However, keep in mind that some customers don't allow uh, the debugging to be activated in productive environments. So now let's have a look in the system. So here we are in the SAP system and I have already started my custom ABAP report that I created for this demonstration. Now to activate the ABAP debugger, you have to type the forward slash and then the H in the upper left corner of your SAP GUI in the command field. So let's do that. Slash H. And after I press enter, the debugger will be activated. And SAP will also show you a message in the lower left corner, which says debugging activated. So this is topic number one, activating the ABAP debugger. Now that I've activated it, on the next action that I perform in my SAP GUI, the ABAP debugger will open. So to do that, let's execute the report. So here we are in the ABAP debugger. And as you can see, there are three different panels shown to you by default. So on the left, you have the ABAP source code, which is executed during the transaction that you started. And on the right upper corner, you will see the ABAP and screen stack. In this uh, window, you can see where you exactly are within your ABAP source code. And on the lower right corner, you can see the variable screen. In this screen, you can find information about variables that you have selected from your source code by simply double clicking on that variable. Now let's check out the navigation within the ABAP debugger. On the upper left corner, you have four buttons which you can use to navigate through your source code. So the first option you can use is the single SEP option. You can also execute this with the function key F5. The second option you can use is the execute option, or simply function code F6. The next one is the return option, or function code F7. And the last one is the continue option, or function key F8. So to see what actually uh, is meant by the description of the options, I will show you how to use them. So on the report statement that we currently are, and this yellow arrow is giving the statement that will be executed in the next step, this report statement we just simply execute by pressing function key F5 or pressing the button. So now we come to the next statement. And in this next statement, the date variable will get the current date assigned. So to see what happens, I can double click on the date variable. 
and I can see that it appears now in my variable screen in the lower right corner. Now, as you can see, the value of this variable is still empty, and because it's a date format, it will have eight zeros. I will use the F5, the single step execution, to actually execute this statement. And as you can see, in the lower right corner, the date variable actually gets a value assigned, and it's a date in an SAP format. Now in the next statement, which you can see indicated by the yellow arrow, we will execute a form routine. And this form routine is called form routine 1. I will use the single step option, or function key F5, to go into the form routine. And now I can see the source code that is actually will be executed during this form routine. And if we have explored it, and we can see that something will be executed for five times uh, given the source code. If I explored it and I'm not really interested anymore or I've checked what I wanted to check, I can use the return option, function key F7, to actually exit this form routine. But before we do that, let's have a look at the AWAP and screen stack where we can see that we are actually in a event that is called form routine one. And that I am in this form routine one within the start of selection, which is the basic selection, the uh, basic event of any ABAP report. So I will press function key F7, so not using the buttons, but the function key to actually exit this form routine. So as you can see, we are now back at the start of selection event, as you can see in the AWAP and screen stack. Now on the next statement, we will again execute form routine one. But now I will use the execute option to actually execute this routine without going into the details. For this, I will use the button on the screen, the execute button. And as you can see, we did not go into the form routine itself, but we stayed at this level of the source code. On the next two statements, you will see that we also can use the F5 function key and the F6 function key to go through methods of a certain class. So on the first method, the first call to method number two, I will use function key F5 to go into this function, uh, this method, sorry. So here we are in the details of method number two of a certain clause. And as you can see in the AWAP and screen stack, we are in method number two within the start of selection event of my custom AWAP report. So I've checked it out. I've seen what I wanted to see in this routine. And I can use the return option, function key F7, to actually go outside this method and go back to my start of selection event. So now we are back at the uh, custom AWAP report again at the level of the start of selection. Now for the next call to the method, I will use function key F6 to actually just execute the statement and not go into the details of the method. Execute. Now, to demonstrate that we can also do the same with function modules, we just simply call a function module called date create, which just simply creates a date. I can use both function key F5, single step option, and F6, the execute option, to execute the function module. By the way, a function module is like a sub-program which is easily reusable within ABAP reports. So if I go and use function key F5, I'll press the function key itself. We will see that we are inside the function module that is executed. And on the ABAP and screen stack, we can also see that we are within event type function and event it's called date create, which is the name of the function module.
Now, once again, I've checked it out. I've seen what I wanted to see. And now I can use the return option to actually go back one step to my custom AWAP report. Return. And back at the um, custom AWAP report, there's only one uh, function key which is left, which is function key F8, which is the continue option in the navigation. The continue option, option of the navigation will just simply execute all the remaining source code from the cursor onwards. So in this case, it will end our program. So now I've demonstrated you the three topics, activating the debugger, the basic screens of the ABAP debugger, and navigating through the ABAP debugger. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And if you did and you liked it, please press the thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out any of our next videos. See you later. Bye bye. This video is powered by Equipped. Quality in business and technology.